If you have a big presentation to give in person, you might not be able to get away with using a script. But if you're using Zoom, there's a way to read your script without the folks watching having any clue that you're doing it. I have a client who needed to give a really important presentation over Zoom, and after she was done, she was complimented on how smooth and well-spoken she was, especially compared to the other presenters. Her trick? She was secretly using a teleprompter. In this video, I'm gonna share how we got this to work in a way that she could see the audience on Zoom, plus her scrolling script with her webcam set up so that she appeared to be looking the Zoom audience members directly in their eyes. It may sound complicated, and it was complicated to figure it out, but I'm going to share exactly how you can use a teleprompter on your next Zoom call. There's a bit of setup for this, hardware and software, and it's not free. The good news is that once you've set this up, you'll use 90% of it every time you use Zoom with or without a script. Before I finish this video, I'll share why this secondary use makes this purchase worth every penny. Plan to spend around $700 for all the parts and software. Let's get started with a simple teleprompter setup that I love. A teleprompter has three main parts, the LCD screen, a one-way mirror, and the camera. I have a video about setting all of this up. There's a link up here, but let me explain briefly. This is the teleprompter that I use. So it consists of, as I mentioned, that one-way mirror is here at a 45 degree angle. There is an external monitor down here, and it is reflecting off the one-way mirror. And directly behind the one-way mirror, if you pick up this black fabric, you can see where my webcam is. But once you put the black fabric down, you can see your script. And the, and the camera never sees your script. It's sitting on my desk on a tiny little tripod. All of this is hooked up to your computer so that what you see on your computer screen is also what you see on your teleprompter. If you're just reading a script while recording yourself, you can use a free software like QPrompter.com. It will show your script on a black background and scroll at a set pace. You read and record on your computer. This is a traditional teleprompter setup. And you can see I've got it set up here. And on my computer to my left is the exact same thing that's on my teleprompter. And it's just running on this website, QPrompter.com. And there's two windows. First, you go to QPrompter.com, type your text into the text box here. You can choose some settings, and then you'll click Start Prompter. And then just push the space bar on your computer, and it'll start scrolling. Across the top, you can change the speed. Uh, I like to go at around speed of four. One thing I do is I always start with a couple of blank lines on Cue Prompter, just so that it's not starting right at the top of the screen and it's scrolling off the screen just as you push the space bar. And I like to pull the Chrome window down the screen just a little bit so that the line that I'm reading is right in front of the camera, approximately in the middle of the screen. But if you wanna show two things at once, your script plus something like a Zoom window or PowerPoint, then you need to use speakflow.com. This is some awesome teleprompter software that works with any web browser, as in you can use it with a Mac or a PC, and it's now my favorite software for running a teleprompter on a computer. By the way, I have a different favorite software for running on an Android or iOS, and that's called PromptSmart. But back to Speakflow. I'm using it right now. The general idea is that you type in your script, push present in teleprompter, and then your script is displayed on your screen, and as you read it, your computer listens and rolls the script forward. That ability to listen to your voice is not common with teleprompter software, but it's included in Speakflow. Uh, and it's limited in the free version to a script that's just a couple minutes long, but unlimited in the paid versions. Speakflow's professional version costs about $15 a month, and it adds a feature where you can put another window behind your script. So in this case, you'd have Zoom behind the script. I've also worked with clients that want to see themselves while they record videos, and then they put the camera image behind the script. And I've even done this with PowerPoint, but that's a little bit trickier because you need to use the, the monitors. You need to set up the monitors separately. So let's stick with Zoom, and I promise I will show you exactly how to do this, but let's go through the concept first. The key to looking awesome on camera is to look directly into the camera, not down at your screen. That way the audience feels like you're looking them directly in the eye like you would be if you were doing this in person. Getting the camera to be in the same place as the script requires that one-way mirror I spoke about earlier. 
The good news is that Amazon is loaded up with reasonably priced teleprompters that have a place for your script and a mount for your camera. And there is a secondary use that I said was way more valuable than the purchase price. When you're talking to a client on Zoom, you want to look them in the eyes or at least have them feel like you're looking them in the eye. You can do that by staring at the camera atop your screen, but then you don't actually see them except in your peripheral vision. But if you use a teleprompter like this for Zoom calls, then you're looking into the other person's eyes and they feel like you're looking them in the eye. And it makes a huge difference. I'll have a link to that setup at the end of this video. So let's give this a try. So I've gone to speakflow.com and I've logged into my account because I have a, a professional paid account. And so I can see multiple scripts here. If you have one of the free accounts, you can only see one script at a time, but you can keep overwriting it if you want to. So uh, let's do the script I used for this and click on that. And you can see it show up on the screen now. So there's a few things to work with. So a couple things you can on the bottom, you wanna select flow. Flow is what goes along with you, it listens to you and, and goes along at the correct speed. Now auto, you can say, I want it to move at a specific speed, slow or fast or in the middle. So you, you can kind of make it go at a specific pace and follow along. But I really like flow. It works really pretty well. And then you can choose the size and the alignment. So do you want this to be, you know, really big words uh, or, you know, something medium or small? I like to kind of have it as small as I can get it. Um, and still be able to read it on my teleprompter. But you don't wanna use up the entire screen here. So those little bars at the top allow you to move to set the width because if you were to read all the way across from one side of your teleprompter to the other, when you're just a few feet away, people are gonna to start to see your eyes move because it's just there's just so much movement. So I like to keep it in that, like I said, middle four inches or so. That's a little bit too too small. That's good. So then we have a couple other options down here. You can always go back and click edit to edit the script to move back over to the editing screen if you need to change something. I'm gonna scroll down all the way to the bottom to click present in teleprompter again. And then you're gonna go over and start up your Zoom meeting. So you've got this all set and you have your Zoom meeting set. And actually I have my Zoom meeting set here as if I'm having a conversation with Big Bird. So this is on another computer. So imagine this is just your audience. So now what I want to do is come over here in Google and I am going to click on overlay and then go over to window and you will select the Zoom meeting. So not just the Zoom kind of like a admin panel, but the actual meeting. So click share. So it pops you over to Zoom and you need to I do command tab to get back to Chrome and you can see that your text is in front of the Zoom screen now. So you can scroll down, Zoom will just continue happening in the background. You can kind of see it, it's showing me too and click start and if you have a big presentation to give in person, you might not be able to get away with using a script. So you can see how it's flowing across, it's flowing in front of the other participants on Zoom. So they have no idea that you are reading a script at this point. And then you can just use control tab to switch back over to the Zoom window and continue your Zoom meeting. Now Speakflow does stop after 30 seconds. If it doesn't hear you talking, it will stop the, uh, the scrolling the strip. So you'll have to press start to start that back up. And you'll also see on the bottom of your screen that speakflow.com is sharing a window. And so you can stop that share when you're done with your presentation. So it takes it out of being projected into this window. And just a note, uh, I'm on a Mac here and it may be asking you some questions so you uh, about permissions. So does Chrome or a specific tab have access to your desktop or to screen sharing and things like that? So you're gonna wanna practice this in advance to make sure that all those things are set up so that when you're giving your presentation, it comes off smoothly. One trick I shared with my client was to have her look down at notes every once in a while. 
We didn't want it to look too unnaturally good. Everyone needs to look down once in a while. Below in the description, there are links to SpeakFlow and also to my website where you'll find links and directions for putting together the teleprompter. Let me know in the comments below if you have additional questions. And I have that setup video up here and how to look natural reading a teleprompter video down here. I'll see you in the next video.